Welcome to our hotel room. Would you like to take a tour? We are at the Be Live Marion All Inclusive Resort in Puerto Plata. Here we go. Pretty sure I asked for a king size bed. But that's okay because we can jump back and forth. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted. I feel like I've been up for two days straight. Well, it's been pretty close. Oh my word. What do you want to do now? Sleep? Eat or explore? Because small is this? Is it not 2019? We probably won't be watching TV anyway. Okay, I don't want to mess this up, but I want to go out here. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> don't hang up your stuff out here. Yo. Do I not look like I belong here or what? It's pretty good. Oh! Come check this out. Oh, the air conditioning is fierce in here. He said the mini bar was included. So I want to see what's in here. <gasps> Two drinks! Two drinks are included! <laughs> 7-Up. Pepsi. It's not even cold. It's off. And, and a and Bud Light. Coors Light. <laughs> okay, I turned it on. We'll see if it turns on. It's not cold right now. Separate room for the toilet. I like that. A not very clean shower. But you know what? I wasn't expecting much. Because in Mexico it's pretty dirty too. But it's fairly big. So I'll give them that. Are there towels? Like for the shower? Am I crazy? Hey Dave. You guys wanna be in my video? Okay. How's my hair? Want better than mine. <laughs> hey, do you want a soda? He's handing out soda. Or water if you want water. I know. Do you go that fast? Ooh. Stand up. How did you get to go so much faster than me? I'm more aerodynamic. That is amazing because I weigh less than you. Dude, that okay. one's so fast. Around. Did you not make it that far? No. He picked me up about the tree. She made it further than the rest of us. Hey mom, what'd you think? Nice work. That was awesome. <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> it was awesome. Worth the wait. <laughs> all right, how was that? Yeah. Made it all the way. I knew you would have got a horse ride. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Carlos. All right, is this the last one? Second to last one. This side? This side. Yeah, no, that same side. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you lost your balance. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> zipline you guys were so much fun i've never done a zipline before so it was my first experience i will say dave's parents said it was one of the more rickety ones that they've been on but i didn't notice anything it felt totally safe to me we went so fast we got to look at the gorgeous countryside of the dominican republic so i just thought this was the most fun ever i really really enjoyed the zip lining the monkeys were cute but seemed a little gimmicky so i don't know that i would recommend that necessarily so the next day we just took an uber up to this cable car to go up the mountain right behind the city of puerto plata i can't remember the name of the mountain but it's 2500 feet above sea level the cable car is a little scary i've never done one before but i really enjoyed it and i didn't feel too scared with my fear of heights because you know you're completely closed in it's not like you're going to fall out or anything the tickets for the cable car were $10 a person US. You can pay with a credit card, no problem. But if you do the city tour and do this, it's like $70 a person. We are on top of the mountain. That's not just gorgeous. I know, right? Holy smokes. We're gonna go look at the Christ statue in the garden. And let me tell you what, it is not hot up here. <laughs> it feels so good. Look at the city, holy moly. This is amazing. Look at these clouds just over the top. Oh, look at these flowers. I almost just need to set up a tripod for seeing do a time lapse. Right. Don't step on grass and flower. Got it. I love the colors. Christ Redeemer, traffic from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Okay, I don't know if I'm covering the mic. If you ever come to Puerto Plata, I would say this is a must do. Yeah, this is totally cool. You gotta come up and see the Christ statue up on the cable car, because it's awesome. So we're gonna take a hike around the garden now. By the way, they have a lot of very aggressive salesmen up here, so <laughs> be prepared to say no a lot. I don't even know what they are, but I like them. I don't know if you guys are like this but when i go on vacation it usually takes me a day or two to just kind of like settle down and not look at the clock and not like what are we doing what are we doing what are we doing and this day the day that we did the cable car was that day for me um, i had kind of chilled out and got into island time if you will and so since i was feeling more relaxed and really enjoying my time with my husband this day kind of just kind of meant something special to me because i was able to just enjoy being in the moment and that's something that is hard to do when you're like go 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 all the time with your kids and they need to be here and they need to be here and you have homework and they have teenager issues and we got to clean the house and all of these other things so being up here exploring the beautiful gardens it was just really healing for my soul honestly to be here and just take everything in and enjoy my surroundings this cave was so funny because they had this like really cool cave with this sign and you could go down into it and it got dark right there you see that so we we're like oh we need to get a flashlight and see how far we can go so we turned on our flashlights on our phones pretty quick and then all of a sudden boom we were at a dead end and then that was that was the end of the cave it was just the stairs and then we were at the end <laughs> so it was a little a uh, little disappointing there i'm not sure what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting a cenote or something because that's what the sign had looked like, but oh well. It was still a cool ladder and little cave to go into. After that, we took an Uber to the fort in Puerto Plata. If you want to go do that, you need to tell your Uber that you want to go see the ruins. The locals call this fort the ruins. He was trying to take us to a different fort that was not where we were going just because he didn't understand, right? Because we weren't using the right lingo. I believe it was $2 American or like 100 pesos to get into this. So super inexpensive. They give you earphones with English audio. 
So you can learn about the fort and what it was used for. Um, it was really cool. I loved this little window leading out into the bay. Look at the color of that water. Holy moly, it was so gorgeous. And then after we did the fort, we decided to climb up this cool lighthouse lookout thingy. Well, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> We're getting a little dizzy. We'll try not to look up or down. We're getting there. Wow. <laughs> hey, tell us what you think. Not that I'm tired. This is really high. Alright. Am I close? Yes, yes, you're close. Like one more full circle. One of the most fun things about traveling is all of the people that you meet. We met so many people that we were able to talk to. It was the best thing. Like that, those people on top of the lighthouse or lookout, they had moved there from North Carolina. It was so fun. So I'm trying to tell you guys that we're waiting for our Uber right there by the beach, but the wind was so loud. You ended up not being able to hear anything I was saying. So I thought I would just record it now for you. And we headed right back to the resort. Hola, welcome to the beach. Hope you can hear me, it's very windy. Thought we would take an evening walk along the beach before dinner. That's, uh, there's a guy kite surfing. I'll spin you around. Oh, I'm fogging up. No, no, I think it's on the inside. Hey, what are you doing? Looking at grade papers. With one leg up? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get comfortable in this chair. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really figured it out yet. You want to talk about our tr walk on the beach that I wasn't able to record any of? That's pretty. Yeah. It's relaxing. Yes. The weather's just except perfect. for except for the um, peddlers. One guy that followed us for the like, yes. Oh wow! And the other guy that just sat and walked with me, trying to ask me about all the things I needed. <laughs> and I was like, No, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> He's like, Did you just get here? I'm like, No. Are you going home tomorrow? No. Nope. Oh. Do you need some of this? Some of that? Some of this? Some of that? No, no. Okay, I tried something new with my hair and it didn't work. So, like, the frizz has been so strong, so I put conditioner in it, like, like a anti-frizz, right? Um, it's okay at the top, but look at the bottom. <laughs> it's, um, it didn't quite work. After today, what did we do today? When we walked along the fort and everything, um, and I took my visor off, I had like ringlet curls that were this tight. It was windy and it was super heavy. Dave just like kept picking at all these like <laughs> little ringlet curls, tiny, tiny, tight ones all over. It was funny. Ooh, yeah, okay, we've got issues with the hair. I should just probably pull it up for the rest of, rest of the time. Even pulling up's not working. I had it up in a bun and it just like all the way around my face. It was awful. My goodness.